Hey guys, it's Mount here, and uh, today uh, I've been really like wondering if the Remington with the foregrip red dot or Mosaic red dot, uh, what one would be better? So uh, me and my friend decided to go into Octane and test it out, and uh, that's what we're going to be giving you guys today is the results. So first off, this is a short range. I'm using Mosaic. He's using foregrip, and this took about three shots. It was three shot at three shots and uh yeah we should have put um lightweight and marathon on so we could get there quicker but we just no perks just so like just be the normal gun nothing like so that like i don't know when we messed like i don't know just a normal gun so here's his his i don't know his, all right yeah here we go four grip was three shots too so now next up is the medium range. We ended up doing a medium range, a long range, and then like a super, super far long range one. Uh, I th I ran yeah. So we just gotta wait here until I get over there. We might and I might be posting different guns. So if you guys want to see different guns with different attachments, uh, just let me know in the comments or anything you want. Here's the medium range. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did this a couple times. I uh. Accidentally missed the last shot, so I had to wait till he regened. And this one ended up taking four shots. Uh, so we gotta wait for him to get back. <clears throat> he, uh, his medium shot, let's see, four shots too. Yeah, that was four. This long range. Here's the long range one. <coughs> oh, crap, sorry. Mine took four. Uh, I accidentally overshot my last shot, but he ended up telling me that it was four. And his long shot. Here's, here's gonna be his long shot. Uh, second, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, just gotta wait for him. All right, yeah, and his ended up taking five. There's five shots here. Um. Th oh yeah, we did a oh like a really really long shot, like uh like all the way across map shots. This is a bigger map. We picked the biggest map. It was just probably like, like both sides of the map. Like we just picked went he went to the one side, and I went to all the way to the other side. I had to kind of go up on the barrels because it was too far, like for me or him to see me. So I went up here, and surprisingly, oh, I messed up the shot here again too. Uh, I messed my last bullet. That would have ended up being five if I would have hit it, but uh, I I'm pretty sure it ended up being four. If I'm not mistaken, it might be five though. One. Yeah, it was five. Uh, I don't know, my shot is really bad for some reason right there. Uh, here. So, he's gonna go up on there. Supr this has surprised me a lot, though. Like, I was very surprised when this happened. Uh, he has the foregrip, and the foregrip is supposed to reduce the recoil, so the recoil isn't as bad. The muscle break is supposed to increase damage from long range, and he ended up putting five bullets into me, too. Like, we both put five into each other. It was pretty, yeah, like, uh, that was, I was surprised by that a lot, and then, here, we're gonna do all uh, the recoil test, uh, on his screen, or on my screen, his shot, like, it shows that his shot was, like, all over the place, and my shot was point, but on his screen, like, my shot was all over the place, and his shot was, like, right, like, very close, but, here, you can't really see the foregrip recoil over here, but, Obviously, the uh, foregrip is going to have better recoil than the muzzle brake, and as you can see, the muzzle brake's uh, aim is very good there. See, like that. His was all over the place, but really, uh, I'm his screen that it was right there, like mine. And then here's the hip fire. The hip, as you can see, the hip fire is still very good. So, here's his hip fire. Uh, you didn't really get to see it. I don't know what I was doing. And, yeah, so we decided that the muzzle brake really... I mean, if you're going for recoil, uh, the foregrip would probably be better. So, that's the result. Thanks for watching.